Good morning, everybody, or indeed, good evening to our esteemed colleagues joining us uh, from Japan today. Uh, my name is Jamie Chambers. I am the editor of the Film Education Journal and the director of the Scottish International Film Education Conference. Uh, this is our sixth edition this year, and this year it's presented in a hybrid format. Today we have a series of online events, beginning with um, today's filmmaker key keynote uh, with the great Japanese director Nohobiro Suwa. Uh, we have a series of other events throughout the day. Um, please do check those out. Uh, we have a, a scholarly keynote. Um, following this at 11.30 um, on film education in a migration society. And this afternoon we have a, uh, our regular papers from the Film Education Journal event where authors who have published us will be presenting their research with a particular focus on questions of decolonizing and how those pertain to film education. But tomorrow we're actually going to be in person again for those that are able to join us um, at the University of Edinburgh in Minto House. Uh, and we have two panels there um, on uh, film education with for students with additional needs and also working with short films in the classroom. So we hope that we'll be able to see some of you joining us there as well. Um, the Film Education Conference is associated with the Film Education Journal and today we are launching a new edition, uh, which I'll ask my colleagues uh, Robert and Pascal just to post some links to in the chat. Uh, our new edition has got perspectives on film education from all over the world, from China, from France, from Scotland, um, and from Greece. So please do check that out. It's all fully open access. It's free to read. Um, and in general, <clears throat> The Film Education Journal and the conference, uh, we continue to be extremely interested in all the different things that are going on in film education internationally and globally. So uh, if you are joining us today and you have had an interesting experience of film education that you would like to share, please do get in touch with us. We are always very keen to hear from you. Um, a few pieces of housekeeping, folks, before, before we begin today's session. <clears throat> um, we have uh, my colleagues, uh, Amanda and Ewan are providing closed captions for today's session, uh, which I believe should just be accessible um, via Zoom, but for, for anyone who would like to access those. Um, Pascal and Robert, maybe you could just paste, repaste some of the information about just how to access the closed captions for those that need them. Uh, and also uh, my colleague Takako and her colleagues is um, providing a very complex translation where she will be uh, providing a consecutive translation, I believe, uh, during our session today with Suistan, but also various aspects of simultaneous translation as well. So thank you, Takako, for joining us. So today's session, folks, is um, we, we believe very strongly at the Film Education Journal at keeping an open dialogue with filmmakers. And we've been very fortunate over the past few years to to be able to have a series of conversations with uh, who we believe to be some of the world's leading filmmakers. Uh, last year, we had the great privilege of having John Sayles and Michelangelo Framartino and Mike Figgis. Uh, and today we have uh, one of Japan's leading filmmakers and indeed one of the world's leading filmmakers, uh, Professor Nohobiro Suwa, joining us today. Just to say a little word about why we feel this dialogue with filmmakers is so important. Um, I think that um, film education as a discipline internationally is still a emergent conversation. It's still something that, you know, in multiple different countries seems to be still taking shape and taking form. Um, and as part of that conversation, we believe very strongly it's, it's important to have a kind of direct conversation with the source of filmmaking. Uh, there's a quote which is sometimes attributed to Gustav Mahler that tradition is not the worship of ashes but the preservation of fire. And I think that when I think about film education, I think it's often about passing on that fire of film culture to, to new participants. And I think sometimes, in my experience, the danger is that the fire, by the time it reaches the learner, may have gone out, may have fizzled out. And that's one of the reasons why I think it's so important to kind of keep this conversation with those such as Sue San who are, who are on the front line, who are 
not only making films, but thinking very deeply about film education and to kind of keep those filmmakers' voices in this conversation about what film education is, what it has been, and what it could be in the future. Uh, so, Suasan, welcome. We, it's a great honor and a privilege to, to have you with us today. Thank you very much for joining us. Takako, are you able to translate? I think your microphone's off. あ、すいません。すいません。あの、こちらのですね、あの、イベントの方のズームのマイクをオンにしていただけますか。あの、ちょっと聞こえないのですいません。私たちオーディエンスに聞こえないんですね。あ、私の声がですか。そうです。あ
of that, uh, you know, to make in film? まあまあ、映画界というのは、まあ、ある古い側面というのがまだあってですねあの例えば映画作家あというものが、まあ、その特別な才能を持ちその特別な才能を持った人が特別な作品を作るというような、まあ、比較的ふ古い考え方にとら、まあ、われているところがあると思うんですね。And from my point of view, that、uh, it still exists as very old fashioned method in the film, film industry, even in Japan. For example, we find their auteur, their very special talent, and they will make it very special. Film that's you know, that's such a you know, old tendency still exists, so that I think that is a very old fashioned style. The Watashi Shin or Ega Kyoki in Kakaru Tokini, some of Ega Saka to you, Tokubetsna Sino, Sodate, Ku to you, Kotoni, or American Shino, or Ida, the Imasendista. Mushiro, Tokubetsna Sino, the Osio. せずにその映画というものを作ることをこう社会の中にどうやって役立てていくのか作用させていくのか、まあ、社会デザインにどういうふうにかかのような側面で映画作りを教育したいというふうに思っていたわけなんです。Yes, but、uh, rather than find the auteur, the special talent in the, in, in, when they make in the film, rather than that, I'm more interested in into how to, you know, how to associate with the society and the film. So that is, that is more, that's more intention to, to teach how to make a film.、Yes. そういうふうに考えているときに、まあ、今あの、一緒に子ども映画教室をやっていて、今、今日いらっしゃいますが、土肥悦子さん、えーまあ、彼女がその子どもに対する映画の教育、あるいはワークショップというようなことを始められていて、えーまあ、彼女に誘われてですね、初めて、えーまあ、小さい子どもたちに映画を教えるという経験をしました。But the interesting thing is、uh, today is also that、uh, you know,、uh, joined the Etsuko Dohi and together. And we will do that together in the involving in the project called the CMC that stands for Children Meet Cinema. And that's interesting things because we really try to approach to. Educate that you know, smaller children and rather than adults to how to make film, how to relate it with the film. Is that more than 10 years ago? 2007 or something like that, maybe 15 years ago. でまあ、初めてそれの小学生たちと、まあ、3日間で映画を作るというワークショップを行いました。But very interesting things. First time, how to make film is that is a, the age is a quite young in the primary school, children, and we really make it try to make a film for the first time. えーまあ、3日間ですね。3日間。I'm sorry, that's all that. Within just three days. これは非常に、まあ、大きな経験となったんですけど、まあ、これは非常に大、子供に映画を教えるということはあ、大変難しいことだなと。えー、と何が難しいかというと、あの私にとっては、映画っていうのは一体何なのかっていうことをもう一度その根本的に自分に問い直さなければいけない、えーまあ、そういうことを踏まえないとその子どもに映画をどういうふうに伝えればいいかっていうことがこうわからないくなるわけなんですねだからその自分にとっての映画をもう一度考え直すそういう、まあ、きっかけにもなったと思います。Uh, that is a really, you know... Big 
experience for me. And but at the same time, it's quite difficult, how, you know, how to teach, how to make film to young children. That's not easy things. Why? Because we have to think, uh, I have to think about again, what mean by cinema and film to me. And um, so that is our, how, so that's uh, how can I tell them to do that? So that's, I, I this is really give me a chance again and rethink about what the film is for me. あのまあ、私はの教映画教育における、まあ、基本的な考え方っていうのはあの、まあ、大学であっても子どもであってもあの共通してるところがあって、えー、常に、まあ、教育において教える側が教えられる側よりもより多くの経験やより多くの知識を持っている。だからそれをまあ教えるっていうそういう関係になりたくないんですね。そういうふうなそれを教育と呼びたくない。And、uh, well, it's a really so that's I'm starting point is that s you know is a film education. But I think even if we going to、uh, tell How to, you know, is it, and also how to make a film to the university students, even the children. And that's as common things. Because、uh, do we、uh, have more experience and、uh, as much longer for as a filmmaker? So that sort of person can teach more than anybody. No, I don't want to do that way. So that's, that is not,、uh, that's not my method to how to teach them how to make film and so on. だから常に教えるのではなくて、まあ、一緒に映画を探求していく、えー、映画に出会っていく。それは私も同じように、えー、そのプロセスにたの中にいるという一人。というふうにできれば関わりたいというふうに思ってきました。And also, you know,、um, is、uh, what mean by that the teaching them? It's like、uh, something discover new things together. That's my approach. And,、uh, you know, always meet films, meet something and for the first time and encounter. Somebody and some films, that's very enjoyable things. That's I want to teach them. Thank you very much, Sua san. A very thoughtful response. Maybe I could ask, actually, leading onwards from that,、um, it strikes me from, from, from what you've just said there and, and also from what I've heard from Itsuko about your work with Children Meet Cinema that. The, That filmmaking is very much a process of discovery, and, and, and you see it as a process of discovery, whether you're working with young children or whether you're working with learners at university level. And I'm just wondering whether、um, your experiences rediscovering cinema, as it were, with children, with students at university, is that something that feeds or influences? Your own work as a filmmaker? So, this is a very important thing to do with the way that you can do it. 自分の中ではあまりこう区別しない、えー、そその全く違う2つのことではなくてそれは自分の中では何かつながっている、まあ、そういうふうにいつもまあ考え、えー、ようとしてきました。And I educate film and teach 
to f how to make a film and so on. Are there big difference between them? I don't think so. There is not a big difference between teaching and making a film. So that is uh, so it's all, always something connected each other. So that's my philosophy to and of that you know the, uh, how to teach fi film. まあ、well, that's first, first of all, I really involved in it is a children is that interesting, interesting experience that is a lion sleep tonight. It's that is a, uh, you know, I will definitely use the French children and the French children inside of cinema is also these children just making their own film. That is that, uh, that's I started. That's very interesting. ま、え、Yes, that's it. And also in my mind, and also that Jean-Pierre Leo, as you know quite well, is a uh, Francois Truffaut's, you know, he's always leading roles, many things. So very legendary uh, person. And then that way, uh, I want to use it as a, as a main cast. And but who uh, who can compete with him? And I realized, wow, that's children. Children should meet him that's the is a, is a, it's a big competitor you know and so that they compete properly so that's i really uh, i really think in that way thank you very much suasan maybe we could rewind a little bit so i'm very interested that you're that you're now teaching um and indeed our president of uh, tokyo zoke uh, university where you formerly studied yourself and um i wondered if you could tell us a little bit about um, Jamie Sun, can you repeat again? Yes, of course. Sorry, uh, we have a little mechanical problem. So I understand, Suasan, that, that you now teach at um, Tokyo Zoke University, where you yourself were formerly a student. Um, and I'm wondering if you could tell us a little bit about the role that education, film education, played for you in in your development as a filmmaker it's very interesting to hear you talking about this this approach this traditional approach of finding the new auteurs finding the special voices and it seems like you're maybe reacting against that to an extent and trying to find a kind of a more a more open approach and yeah so I, i'm wondering if you could tell us a little bit about the role that your own experience of film education at Tokyo Zoke University played in your development as a filmmaker. Hi. Eh, to, oh, 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 o
という大学を僕はまあ卒業してそれから東京造形大学で教えたんですけれども現在はあの東京芸術大学の方で教えていますの大学院ですねこちら大学院ですけどで現在は東京造形大学ではあの教えていません最初にちょっと訂正だけはいあとやっぱりどうしても日本語でお話しいただいている方のソースに英語が常に聞こえているのでなかなか聞き取りにくいです。OK, so that is a Tokyo Zoke University I, I graduated from, and also that the same,、uh, same university I used to teach.、Uh, but、uh, at the moment, is that now it's Tokyo Gages University, that's a different university. So that's、uh, that's postgraduate course I, I'm, I, I'm, I, I'm, teaching, I'm teaching now. So that is、uh, maybe your, you have a little bit,、uh, your, your information a little bit too old, I think. Yeah, a little bit old. Yeah. And I have a pretty big problem with the Japanese language, you know, translation、uh, simultaneously. I have a little bit,、uh, you know, English. English speakers' voices、uh, is coming, coming out very loud, so I, I don't know why. もしすいません、いいですかはい。えっと、もしかすると、あの今井さんの蓄字通訳を聞いている方が、もしかしたら聞き取りやすいかもしれないです。当時通訳をちょっと諦めて。そうですね、ちょっとこれ、あのあのはい、あのいつものあれじゃないので、OK、わかりました。OK、ね uh,。Maybe、uh, we should really be give up that、uh, simultaneous interpretation today. OK、thank you very much. Thank you. OK。えっと、あとあれですね、ごめんなさい。えっ、ー、と、えっ、ー、とあの、先ほどの質問がちょっとわからなかったっていうことでしょうか。あでも、まあえーと、今の質問にはお答えできます。あ、わかりました。お願いします。えっと、僕が東京造形大学で受けた映画教育が今の自分のまあ考え方とか映画に対する姿勢とかそういうものにすごくあのやっぱり影響を与えているというのはあ,のあると思います。Yes, of course, you know what I, I was because I'm studied that, you know,、uh, so how to make this film. So that is really, I think, that's a big influence as on me now. The, ma, do you, uh, Kyoi Kudatta Katu, to, so, no, ma, Ega to it, demo, Ega, or Yapa, he's only Haba Hiroi. ものとして、えー、教育に取り入れていてそのもちろんフィクション映画だけではなくて非常にエクスペリメンタルなあ映画、えー、プライベートな映画、まあ、あのアンダーグラウンドシネマと言われるようなものとか、えーまあ、非常に幅広い、えー、映画というものを教育の中に取り入れていたというのがあります。Yes, it is, um... It's wonderful thing is a film, but it's really a many t y p e of film there, not just only fiction and also very experimental one and a very private film and also very underground films. As you know, that's all sorts of film that they really, you know, they really give us a chance to see it and、uh, know about it. でまあ、あの東京造形大学というのはあの一応モデルとしていた学校があの、まあ、バウハウスなんですね、えー。バウハウスの教育をどこかでそのモデルとしながらあの新しいデザイン教育というものを目指そうとしたのがあの東京造形大学でした。But that's also this university, that university is a Tokyo Zoke University, is that is modeling Bauhaus, Bauhaus, you know very well, yeah. And that is that is a、uh, education and philosophy. So they really want to be create the new type of design. まあそれと同時に
70年代、1970年の終わりから80年にかけて、えー、はあの日本ではその多くの個人映画作家、実験映画作家、あまあ、いわゆる商業映画とは違うところで、まあ、映像表現をしていた人たちが、大学教育に教,教育者として入っていく。ということが、まあ、各地で起きた時でもありました。That's very interesting era, 1970 to 1980s. It's that、uh, it's many filmmakers, very interesting, very private films, very experimental films, not at all commercial. But these people also st st started getting involved in. Education,、uh, you know,、uh, so that is they they started teaching the new students with that way. So that's very interesting era. ですのでまあそういう教育環境の中にいたのであのいわゆる映画産業においてあの制作されているいわゆるフィクション映画だけが自分のにとっての映画ではなかったわけなんですね。So that in the such a education, so that's a, not just only the you know, normal fiction movie, not like that at all. So that is a, it's sort of all elements there. Ah, this no day, Ima de mo, ma, jibun no ega te no wa, ma, ki hon te ki ni fiction ega te yu, waku frame no naka de, jibun no sakin yu tsuk te imas ke re do mo, フィクション映画の枠が大事なのではなくて、えー、常にその映画っていうものは一体何なんだろうっていうことを問い返していく、まあ、そういう営みっていうのがやっぱり重要自分にとっては重要なんだなと、まあ、そういうベースはやっぱり大学の時に培われているというふうに思います。Films rather than other t y p e of things. But、uh, it's,、uh, it's, I don't want to put in a very fixed frame. This is a fiction film. It's, it's always thinking about what's the movie, what's movie, and what film means by that. And、uh, I said, for me, and so that is our that's most important element for me. So the, basically, that's、uh, why they come from. That's come from the education at the university. Thank you very much, Suasan. Maybe I could ask you a little bit about your,、um, your work with Etsuko and, and Children Meet Cinema.、Uh, for anyone joining us today that aren't aware of Children Meet Cinema, it is one of, it is one of the world's、uh, leading film education projects. And、uh, established by Etsuko Dohi, who's with us today in 2004. And、um, every year, Etsuko invites a filmmaker to work with young children.、Uh, and Suasan has been involved at several different points, I believe, and,、uh, and I believe has had quite a significant influence on the project. And indeed,、um, Itsuko told us, Suasan, that there is,、uh, in terms of the history of Children Meet Cinema, there is a sense of before Sua and after Sua, that you had a very significant influence upon the way in which the project was conducted. And one of the things that Itsuko told us was that one of the innovations that you introduced, one of the changes in Children Meet Cinema's methodology, Was that you recommended not to use a written script? You recommended that the children don't use a written script. And I wondered if you could tell us a little bit about that, where that comes from, and, and how you, what impact you think that has on children's filmmaking. So, there is a little bit of a question. えっとまあ、あの僕が、えっと、2014年でしたかね、2014年の子ども映画教室で、えーまあ、少し新しい方法を試してみ、えー、ました、えっと。それが、まあ、あの子どもたちに
、えー、脚本とかその物語をまず考えてそれを撮影してそしてそれをまあ編集するっていういわゆるプリプロダクションそしてポスプロダクションそしてポストプロダクションっていうそういう流れをまあ壊したわけですね。Well, that is, I started 2014, is that, you know, CMC, Children Meet Cinema. And,、uh, well, I will、uh, talk, talk to children, is,、uh, you know, it's a、uh, finder script,、uh, you know, scenario. And then,、uh, you know, that's that sort of thing process, I think, not necessary, because in general, there is a, you know, screen. Pray there and the pre production, the production, the post production. But I said that it's completely, you know, get rid of that sort of method. This is a scenario of Kakanai, the Satsang, and the Satsang. So that's we try to, you know, to make a film, filming without writing scenario. それともう一つはあの、えー、最初に僕が子供や教師に関わった時というのはあのそれ以前は、えー、ドキュメンタリーとフィクションこの両方二つのカテゴリーのチームに分かれてドキュメンタリーをやるチームとフィクションをやるチームというふうにこう分かれてあのワークショップを行っていたと思うんですね。And one more thing is that、uh, at the time is that、uh, it's at CMC, the children meet cinema. And、uh, I will be divided into two sections. One is for documentary, to make a documentary, film and documentary. And the other one is、uh, making fiction. So there is a two team. Yeah, so the two teams are in the same way. I'm going to do this. But、uh, I decided not to use the two teams either. The、まあ、というのはドキュメンタリーとフィクションっていうものは僕はあまり区別したくなかった。で、ドキュメンタリー映画とフィクション映画っていう二つのカテゴリーっていうのはまあすでにあるものなんですけれども、最初からあったわけではないんですよ、ね。え、例えばリュミエールの映画っていうのはドキュメンタリーでもありフィクションでもあるわけですね。で僕にとってこの2つというのはあの不可分なもので映画に常に、えー、その両方がまとわりついているそういうものだと思っていたので、まあ、既存のカテゴリーに分類する必要はないんじゃないかなというふうに考えたわけです。Well, that's sir. But I, I thought it's a documentary to fiction. Is that different? But I think it's quite a big between them because r u m i e r e of course, they started that,、uh, that, that way. Because if you look at you know, their style, i s sometimes documentary, sometimes fiction. So these, these two elements, documentary and fiction, always very close together. Related each other. So that you know, we should not put in the categorize that you know,、uh, that's one frame and two frame or something. It's, a, it's not necessary to that. まあそれからもう一つはそのフィクションを制作している子どもたちの作品にも少し違和感を感じて何が違和感だったかというとみんなまああのセリフを覚えてそのセリフを一生懸命演じてるわけなんです。で、その時に僕たちは何を見ているのか、えーえー、それはあのお芝居をしている子どもたちを見ているわけなんですね。演技をしていること自体を見ているっていうことが起きてるわけですよね。まあ、普通の映画ではそれは隠されているわけです。それは演技だけども、演技を見ているのではなくて、演じられたフィクションを見ているわけですけども。まあ、つまり、その拙い、一生懸命覚えて
している演技っていうものはあの彼ら自身の表現ではないわけなんですね。Well, interesting point is, you know, I, I thought it's a, it's a children make a fiction. That's a, what I mean by that. And they have, to, first of all, they have to memorize dialogue and then they play it. And、uh, what, I, what we see is a children's playing something. So that Is very obvious that we can find out. And then that's、uh, in general, the film, if you look at the actors you know, and playing, we, we didn't notice like that way. It's more naturally accepted. But、uh, it's our, if we really have to do that, the younger children have to play somebody. It, it's also is,、uh, you know, it's a different. That is a、uh, That is also not natural expression either. なのでまあ,あの書かれたものを誰かが書いたものを一生懸命覚えてそれをまあ一生懸命演じるっていうことよりもあの、まあ、それにはそれをやるためには何らかのテクニックなりその演技をするということのレッスンなり訓練っていうものが必要になるわけですけど。でも彼らはそのプロの俳優を目指してるわけではないしだけど彼らは一人一人やっぱりみんな違う個性を持って一人一人の,あのキャラクター彼らの存在っていうのはみんな違うわけですよねだから彼ら自身が自分を表現すればそれはすごくあの豊かな登場人物になりうるわけなんですなのでセリフを書くっていうことをやめたわけです。Well, that is interesting point is, and if you memorize the dialogue or words and play it, it's、uh, of course they need more special training how to play role, how to play someone. And、uh, rather than that, The children, children h a s、uh, their own characters, their own personality. Such a case is、uh, easier to express to themselves rather than playing is, you know, intentionally. So,、uh, so that's, I thought, is,、uh, I, I stopped writing dialogue for actors. And the most important thing is that the most i m p ていたワークショップはその3日間という非常に限られた時間で行われたわけなんです。まあ、それで映画を考えて完成させるまでやらなきゃいけない。その時にまずお話を考えよう、シナリオを考えようっていうふうにして始めてしまうとですね、最初の1日、あるいは1日半とか、ほとんどの時間がみんなお話を考える。まあ、そういう時間に費やされてしまうわけなんですね。Yes, oh, also, I, 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 I learned a lot of things from the workshop, three days workshop. Is that it's such a limited time? And if you wanted to make that a story, and first of all, if you first of all, we have to make a story and we have to make a scenario. Such a case is there, we spend more than one day. That's a problem. <笑>だからまあ一日あるいは2日目もずっと話し合ってるようなこともあったわけですね。でその間子どもたちは何をしてるかというと、まあ、机に向かって椅子に座って話してるわけですね。でそれってあのあのとても映画の映画豊かな時間をお、まあ、失っているというか。子どもたちにとっては、やっぱり外に出て、体を動かして、えー、実際動いて、えー、撮影するっていう行為において、すごく頭がこう動くわけなんですね。そういう豊かな時間がどんどんどんどん失われていってしまうっていう現実があったわけです。So that, as I said, 
and their first day and second day just talking talking and sit down at, you know and then it's uh, so that it's that uh, the children are losing the rich moment you know rich moment of the making film and there's rather than that the talking in their room is a, they should go out and start filming that's much better that's more practical まあ、なのでまずできるだけ早くカメラを持って外に出ていく撮影を始めるっていうふうにしたかったんですなのでお話が完成してなくてもいいからとにかく撮影を始めていく撮影しながらお話を作り上げていく、まあ、そういうプリプロダクションとプロダクションが同時に起きていくようなプロセスっていうことにトライしてみたわけなんです。So that so anyhow to go out and even it it starts shooting is very important. And there's of course unfinished story is your story is unfinished. It's okay. It's rather than that thinking about too much. And the pre-production and production, you can do it together. So that is I I I will try, I will ask them to do it. Thank you very much, Suasan. That's fascinating to hear about and very inspiring as well. And so in, in terms of what Itsuko has told us about before Suwa, after Suwa, the other key point that um, Itsuko told us is that I believe that the other innovation um, following your input was not to fix roles within the team. I believe previously there had been a sense that one child is director, another child is camera person, but now in Children and Meet Cinema there is revolving, sharing. I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about that, why you introduced that and the impact it has on the children. Thank you. まあ、あの僕、もう一つ、まあ、そう確かに僕は子どもたちに監督という役割はこういうことをするんですよとか、えー、カメラマンはこういうことをしますとかそういう、まあ、役割分担のようなことを、まあ、できるだけ無視してそのことはほとんど触れない、えー、でやってきましたそれがどうしてかということですよね。まあ、そこまでちょっと訳してください。Yeah. It's that means that is our, you know, when we when we making that、uh, film or you know, it's such a case is don't give them the role, fixed role. You are a director, you are a cameraman, and you are, you know, you do this and that. And so that's、uh, I really completely ignored giving them their role. So that is why that you want to ask me, right? えっとあのまあえっとですね、うん、最初は直感的にそれを教えるのが嫌だったっていう<笑>あの、えー、ところ非常に直感的なものだったんですけどあのなぜかというとその役割を教えるということはまあ、システムを教えることですね映画制作っていうのはこういうシステムで作られるんですよということをまあ教えることになるわけです。Yes, but instinctly, instinct, instinctly, I realized I don't want to give them, you know, I don't want to teach them what your role is. If you really teach them what your role is, means there, there is a system in certain, you know, でまあもし仮に、えーまあ、多くの場合こうそういうふうに役割が与えられると思うんですけど「はいあなたは監督ですねあなたはカメラをやってねあなたはマイク持ってください」あなっていうふうにしてこう分けられるわけですよね。でそうすると何が起きるのかである問題に直面したときに撮影をしていて何か問題に直面したときに例えばこの演技どうしたらいいだろうかとかっていう問題に直面したときに、えー、それは監督が考えてカメラマンは考えません
、えー、それはあなたの仕事です。それは大人と同じような<笑>縦割りのコミュニケーションが起きるわけなんですけど、一緒に考えるってことが消えちゃうわけなんです。But why, you know, I don't want to give them this、uh, specific role. For example, if you say, oh, you're a cameraman, you're a director, and you should record the sound and voice with microphone, in such a case, and then what happens if that actor thinking about what, what, which direction I should do it and so on? And such a case is maybe. You know, And how to act is a director's role. So you should do it. And then the cameraman said, No, it's not my, it's not my relation. How to act is that director's role. And then the, that thinks it's really exactly the same of the you know, adult society in the adult. you know. So that's it. I don't want to do that way. So, the system is not the same. The d i 役割になってしまうわけですよね。つまり監督の人は監督という役割が重要なんです。で、カメラマンはカメラマンという役割が重要なんで、それは誰がやっているのか、その子がどういう子なのかっていうこと以上に役割の方が重要になってしまうんです。そういうコミュニケーションになってしまう。Yeah, and also that's a... If you really thinking about within the system and you really have to You know, properly their roles, it's, it's really, you know,、um, for example, that is a director, your director is a cameraman, and it's, a, it's really、um, such a way is a, we never focus what kind of character this,、uh, this child has. And what, what is her, their uniqueness and so on? We're never thinking about it because that important thing is that、uh, in, uh, their own role. That, it's, that, is not, that is not what I want to do. That. まあ、もうそのえその映画教育の目的がある意味で社会勉強。映画っていうものはこういうふうに作られているんだ。こういう仕事をする人がいるんだ。そういうことを子どもたちが知るっていう目的であればそれでもいいかもしれないですよね。ただ僕が目的としたいのはそのグループの子どもたちが一緒に作業をして一つのものを作るっていうプロセスによって彼らが何らかの成長を経験成長するとか何らかの経験をする表現と表現するっていう経験をするっていうふうなことが大事だと思うんですね。その場合はそのの場はは役割は取っ払ってしまった方がいいわけなんですね。Well, Isma, if you want to teach them what its society is, maybe that's okay, that's quite、uh, um, practical, you know.、Uh, but if you're really thinking about it, that group, in the one group, and、uh, they make that something together, and, and、uh, That's very important what kind of you know, experience they have and、uh, how to express themselves or the story and so on. That's more important than you know, that's,、uh, just sharing the role itself. まあ多くの映画スクール、えー、世界的にたくさんありますけれども、まあ、映画の専門教育っていうものは今お話した中で言うと前者をやるわけですね。つまりカメラマンとして必要な仕事を勉強する。えー、録音マンとして身につけなければいけない技術、まあ、そういうものを学んでいくということをまあやるわけですよね。でも子どもたちに映画をやる目的はその職業人を育てるわけではないので。えー、もっと違う経験に彼らを導かなきゃいけないのではないかなというふうに思うわけなんですね。Well, it's a, I think many of the so called you know, film schools is a, it's more like it, they, they're going to as a, you know, teach that's what the system is, and they really want to that, uh, 
how to share the roles. And for example, that's a cameraman. Oh, if you they, if they wanted to be a cameraman, they just to they just show that you know how to you know use the camera as a technically. And if you if they want to be the recording man and how to record the things and it's more technically. And so that's but is there do you want it to make that their children's is a profession as a filmmaker only? It's not. I, I think they should more is uh, share experience and expand their wonderful you know, experience together. That is a purpose. だからまあ、子供が教室で僕たちがやってる子供が教室ではその子がどういう役割なのかっていうよりはその子がどういう子なのかっていうのがまあ問題になるわけですね、常に。well, so that especially the you know children in meat cinema, that's very important thing is that you know what kind of a personality, what they like, and that is more important than anything else. Yeah. 最終的には監督が決定する。決定権を持つわけです。だけど、その、そういうフェアなグループの中では、え、意思を決定していくシステムっていうのがないわけなんですね。だからとても時間かかるわけです。But is there difficulties there too? But who will make the who is the decision maker in general? that the film director can decide anything as he likes, as they like. And then there, but it's that such a, you know, uh, fairness in the group and they can make a decision instantly. So they spend more time, they need more time to make a film. <laughs> So that if you adults involved in this project, they feel very irritation. Because it's so it's so hard to make a decision. So that adults have to be, you know, have to be patient. They can wait. That's that's they have to do it. So in a how do you make that decision? Because it's quite difficult, they can make a decision. No, it's gradually they can make decide something. で、なんどうやって決め、決まってるのか。よくはわからないですね。あの、なんとなく決まっているんです。これは訳せますが、なんとなく決まってるんです。あ、いうの、because だから中心があるわけじゃなくて、なんとなく、なんとなく意思決定していく。まあ、もちろんグループの中にはいろんな権力関係、力関係が生まれるので、力の強い子が意思決定をしていくっていうことも起きますし、まあ、その力強い子の
that is a human. That is a very, you know, uh, experience uh, as a human. Thank you very much, Suasan. Fascinating answer and, and lots to think about and be inspired by there. Um, just speaking to our audience for a moment, I, I have lots more questions I would like to ask Suasan, but it would also be great to hear from the audience if anyone would like to post a question into the chat. Uh, you could be having a think about that. I'd, I'll maybe ask Suasan another question, but um, please do if there's something that you'd like to ask about anything that we've been talking about today or indeed anything else, please please do put your question into the chat and we can... So maybe I could ask you, I understand that I believe since 2017, um, Children Meet Cinema has been involved in Cinema Centon de Jeunesse, uh, which for any audiences, uh, any anyone joining us today doesn't know that project, a very significant French film education project has been running for about 20 years longer, uh, led by the work of Alain Bergola, very significant French film education theorist and filmmaker himself, and also Natalie Bourgeois, um, and I believe that um, Suasan, you have been tend to be the filmmaker involved in the Cinema Centre de Jeunesse groups. And I was just wondering if you could talk a little bit about that experience of being involved in Cinema Centre de Jeunesse and how that resonates with your previous experiences of film education and and maybe what what how it might contrast with them. ではですね、えっと、えっと、まあ、スオスさん自体がですね、2017年に子ども映画教師というのに関わったと思うんですけれども、えっと、あの、面白いことにですね、フランスでも、あの、アランバーガラ、またナタリー・ボルジョワさんが、かかあの、まあ、非常に教育に熱心な方と関わっている CCAJ、あの、えー、サン・サンタンド・ジュネスですね、映画100歳の、はい精神というのがございまして、そのグループにも確か、えー、と諏訪さんは関わっていらっしゃると思いましたけども、なぜその関わることになったのかというのと、またあの彼らのことをこう信頼できるというふうにあのあのこうけあの考えたんでしょうか。最後のところは聞こえなかった、なぜなぜあの彼らのことを信頼できるというか。信頼信頼できる、はい。トラストって言ってました。はい。えっとえー、そうですね、あのうんとまあ、僕は今お話したみたいに映画教育に関わるようになって、で子どもたちの映画教育に、えー、おいて、そのやっぱりフ,フランスが非常に先進的なあの歴史、あるいは経験というものを蓄積しているということは、えー、知っていたわけなんです。ただそれがどういうことをやってるのか実際にどういう映画をどういうふうに教育に生、えー、かしているのかっていうことをあのもっとよく知りたかったわけなんですね。Teach how to educate children, and they have a very big history and、uh, experience. But、uh, what, first of all, I'm very interested in what they are doing actually, what kind of film they use it, what kind of, uh, uh, what kind of things they do. That. That's first of all, I want to know about it. わかりやすいし早いだろうというふうに思って、まあ、この CCS に参加してみようというふうにして始まったわけなんです。So that's I decided to join actually. That's much easier and quicker to learn what I mean by that. And so that is a CCAJ. I, I really I decided to join it. まあ実際参加してみると、本当にその。あの僕たちが日本でやってきたこととも全く違うし同時にその日本において行われている映画教育とも違うで非常にやっぱりあのこのこ歴史的な豊かさというか映画文化の厚みというかそういうものに
と同時にその映画をこう本当に芸術として教育していくっていう実践としてねすごくあの刺激を受ける経験になりました。With、so、actually, I join it, and、uh, it's a quite different from you know, Japanese、uh, system <laughs> and the Japanese way. Is there, for example, that's you know,、uh, film education, it's quite different, and the more thickness there because history is quite, quite you know, it's long, and as their art is there, or any other way. And it's, I got a lot of people inspired, and they inspire me a lot. でまあ、とてもその CCAJ の,あの取り組みっていうのはあの例えば、えー、教育で映画を扱う場合かなり日本でもそうですけどよく議論されるのはメディアリテラシーという考え方ですね。子どもたちが映像の読み書き能力をきちんと正しく学ぶ、まあ、そういう意味で映画を使う、映画を勉強するっていう、えー、まあそういう考え方があります。ただ、その側面でこぼれ抜け落ちてしまうことっていうのがやっぱあるわけですよね。何が抜け落ちるか、えー、それはやっぱり映画を、映画のこう芸術としての味わい、あるいは豊かさ、えー、そ,ういうそういうことを経験する芸術と触れ合ったことによって起きるそのある豊かな経験とかいうものはそこではあの問題にならないわけですねメディアリテラシーという文脈の中では。So that's as a CCAJ, as、uh, what kind of things to do that way is a, is a very interesting point is, for example, there is in the, in the film education, We're really thinking about media literacy. That's, you know, how to, how to read, how to accept the film, and how to understand the cinema. That's quite an important element. But if you really concentrate this element, you're really missing very important things. For example, what's the art of cinema? And what's the richness of cinema? That is quite difficult to, for them to, you know, do. えっとまあ出生時に非常に共感するところはそのやはり同じようにその映画の作り方は具体的には教えないわけですねつまりこういうふうに撮影しなさいとかこういう手順で映画を作りなさいというようなことはこのプログラムの中ではあ、まあ、教えないわけですよね。They don't process, you know, you should make it like that way and this way. They don't, they don't teach like that way. とにかくその映芸術としての映画の味わい方あの映画のこう,こう、えー、まあ奥深さというかあのそういうものを体感できるように映画を経験させるでそれをほんでえー、それを再映画を例えば再現するんじゃなくて本当に表現自分の表現に、えー、していく、まあ、そういうプロセスが、まあ、プログラムされているところにすごくあの共感するわけなんです。That way, CC,、uh, CCAJ way. And、uh, because it was really, you know, it's really like art, how they accept it, how they feel it. And、um, there is a depth and richness, and、uh, how to express. That's very important rather than reproduce something or rather than, you know, to read the. Redoing something. So rather than that's more like your own expression. And then that is a very interesting process. So that's, I'm really, it's really, I really admire a lot. 
Thank you very much, Suasan. A very interesting answer. Um, we have one question uh, from our audience, um, from Tom Flint, who I believe you know, Suasan. I believe you worked with him many years ago. Um, and Tom asks, what do you think adult filmmakers can learn the most from young filmmakers? えっと、it's about uh, uh, film education. Yeah, I think Tom is wondering um, from your experience working with young filmmakers, children filmmakers, and, and I guess the uh, it, as part of Children Meet Cinema, Tom is wondering what do you think that older filmmakers, adult filmmakers, what inspiration, what can they learn from children making films. <laughs> またはその物<笑><笑> <laughs> well, that's uh, you should not think about it in general idea and a general definition. It's more like that it, for film adult filmmaker and child filmmaker. What's the difference? It about the they really filmmaker they're. Both of them is uh, making film. And so the adult ch children is that if they're really thinking about their the category, your adult, your child, your children, it's uh, it's already these people are too old. <laughs> it's too old fashioned. So that in, if you really look at the child in front of you and you're thinking about filmmakers should always children. You know, they should be a, you know, they should be a child, never be a doubt. So that is, that should be that. If you're thinking about their children, we're a doubt that you already couldn't compete with them. No, no, I don't want to say that, Tom, you are old. No, I don't say that. I don't want, I don't want to say that. It doesn't mean like, not like that. ただ逆の意味で僕は子供が純粋でピュアであるというふうにも思わないんですね。え、
So is that, do you think that all children are pure and genuine? I really don't think so, because, you know, they, if I said, you can do it as you like, but how are they going to use that freedom? So many of them are restricted and they're really limited freedom. And they're really put inside like that way. And this it's, it's more difficult for them to sometimes get uh, completely freedom. So how they liberate, you know? So that's, is a, that is a very interesting thing is through experience to make a film. They really learn it. So, you know, that that is that is one one type of thing. Is sir, you 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 are you not not always you know uh, in a children is a, a lot of freedom to make a, something as a freedom, not like that. だから大人も子供もその表現に関わるときに大事なことって多分知らない間に自分が捉えられてしまっている不自由さ。そういうものに気がついてそこからいかに、えーまあ、自由になっていくのかっていうことをやっぱり問い問うていく、まあ、そういう営みとして芸術っていうものが教育で果たす役割芸術あるいは哲学そういうものがこう必要なんじゃないかなと思うわけです。So, you know, even that they're uh, adults or children, is that uh, they should realize you are, you are yourself restricted freedom, how they liberate yourself to, to into that uh, completely free world. That is, so that's, we should, uh, we should very important in the education. We did, you know, for example, art is very important and also philosophy is very important too. So that's the learner. I don't know if I can tell you that 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 I can tell あのみんなが考えてるのは常にその経済的な問題であったり数値化できる問題であったり客観的に評価できることであったり、まあ、そういうことにとらわれている、まあ、その方が大事であるっていうふうに考えられている、まあ、それは日本においてもかなり極端に進行している教育の危機だと思いますね。Well, it's especially we can say so in Japan, but maybe not just only Japan, in any other country in the world too. And the art is, so that's very important too, you know, what the freedom is. Is there freedom? Is there a little bit at the moment that the present education system, they ignore it. They're really thinking about so important, and they're they really rather than that they prefer that uh, maybe economics that's the results of economics or figures, you know, means in, in their in the numbers much much higher than this and that that sort of things and evaluation is uh, it's they thought it's that's more important than rather than you know and any other form of you know freedom. Including, uh, including art. Thank you very much, Suasan. A lot to think about there. Folks, we're coming towards the end of our session, and I'm just wondering if there's any final questions that anyone in our audience would like to ask Suasan. Now, now is a good moment if you've got a question you'd like to put. So, 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 もし質問したいことがありましたら、諏訪さんに質問するあのチャンスとなりますので、ぜひあの質問してください。Seems maybe not. So maybe I'll, I'll ask one last question myself. So、um, I understand that Children Meet Cinema involves not only making workshops in which films are made, but also watching workshops in which films are experienced. And I'm wondering if you would share some thoughts with us, Suasan, about what takes place 
in those watching workshops because I know it's not it's not possible or even desirable to teach children how to watch a film. I mean, I think that, that that's already a human ability to watch a film. But there are obviously things that, that you and Itsuko and your colleagues do in these watching workshops that help children get deeper into the experience of watching films. And I'm wondering if you could just talk a little bit about that side of your work with Children Meet Cinema. そうですじゃあ、あの、あ、はい。そう、で、見ることの あ、じゃあ今質問をもう一回言ってみましょうか。はい、えっと、今まあ、but last few years, we always, you know, visiting many primary schools all over Japan, and we really, you know, set up the screen, and as the children is watching together, and there is also at the same time we connected with them, and we really organized workshop. We we did many many. オズ、安次郎監督のオハヨ、え、ボンジュールですね。と、か、え、え、赤い風船。え、それからタルコフスキーのタルコフスキーの短編ですけど、ローラーとバイオリンという、これタイトル、ローラーとバイオリンかな。
そのまあ積極的な鑑賞者になるようそのえまあ導いていくというかそういうプログラムで中でそういうことを意識していると思います。For example, red, red balloon. It's just a bit red balloon. And there, even though they just watched the red balloon, we're excited, we're scary, or we feel sadness. And、uh, but red balloon itself, no, no talk. That's very silent. <laughs> and they didn't say anything. But、uh, if you watch that red balloon, And the children is a、uh, yeah, make your, your, their own story or feeling. And that is a、uh, wonderful thing. It's,、uh, it's more like they're just not watching as an audience, more like, more like they're really positively involved in the film. ただまあ今日いろいろお話ししてきたんですけど、あの僕たちもすごく手探,手探りで。あの何も経験がないところからいろんなことをトライしながら、まあ、あの迷いながらこうやってきていて、まあ、こういう機会を通してあの、まあ、皆さんもいろんな映画教育について考えてる中で直面している問題とかあるでしょうしそこで僕たちも、まあ、あの他の人たちがどんなことをやっているのか、まあ、そういうことを、まあ、勉強していきたいなというふうにも思いますね。Well, we talk about a lot, you know, especially about education. And、uh, what about ourselves? Also, we, are, we, just, we still do that trial and error. And sometimes we just、uh, we're not sure what we're doing. And,、uh, but education is like that way.、It's, uh, I wanted to see that other people doing what. That's I want to,、uh, I want to know about it. To say. So that is、uh, we can st- We can really,、um, uh, we, can, we can more like visualize more what we should do it from now on. Thank you very much, Sue San. I think that's a, that's a great place to leave things for this session. So, if I could just say just such a resounding thank you for, for giving us your time today. Very grateful to you for your generosity, sharing your thoughts. It's been extremely inspiring, kind of listening、uh, to, to, you, to you talking about your experiences. Thank you so much, Sue San.、Uh, thank you very much to Itsuko. Uh, and everyone at Children Meet Cinema for helping us organize this event. Thank you very much to Takako for her translating and her colleagues. Thank you very much to our, our colleagues in closed captions as well.、Uh, yes, I hope you, you've enjoyed this session as much as I have, folks. Please do check out the rest of the events that we have on on the rest of the day. And、uh, we'll just say a, a final good night, I believe it is, to, to Sue San and Anetsuko in Japan. So, Thank you so much, folks. We'll, we'll say、Thank、goodbye. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, Jamie.、Uh, at、uh, October. Yes. October. I look、uh, forward to seeing you in October. Yes. Fantastic.、Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See you, folks. Bye. 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 Bye.